Hey there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and Bailey. And today, we're gonna take you to Ransom Park, another place you can walk your dog. This one is not an open space, but a fun park that is often quite empty and quite fun to walk through. As you can see, they've got restrooms, which is awesome, and lots of trash cans, so it's easier to clean up after your puppy dog when you're out walking them. Bailey is quite fond of the pavilion because quite often she finds scraps on the ground but I'm not going to take her over that way. And we usually take off in that direction which is where we're going to head today. You need to quit begging. Let's go this way. Come on big girl. I know, so frustrating. So the path that we're going to do is off in this direction. You'll see they've got a nice reminder saying please keep your dogs on the leash and pick up after them. We can handle that, right, silly? <laughs> you are so not focused on walking right now. Just a heads up about Ransom Park, they do want you to keep your dog on your leash and uh, make sure you're picking up after them as well. And it is nice because they do have the trash cans available so you can dispose. Alrighty, friends, so as you can see, uh, this park has paved paths. And as you move through it, there are trails. Bailey got a step ahead of me while I was getting the camera set up. Once again, I apologize for the video being a little bit shaky. I am still working on obtaining a gimbal. And as I mentioned earlier, this place is not off leash. So that's why I've got the long leash with her. And then I'll grab the leash whenever I'm not recording. Uh, right now I just keep her close and if I have to, I can step on the leash. There are trash cans here, so if she does uh, leave anything it is uh, easy to bag it and carry it back and put it in the trash can which is one of the requests they make on that first sign when you're walking in so here you can see the paved path was beside us the whole time and you just walk through and you pick whichever one you prefer this is one of the smaller parks that you can visit. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, it's not off leash, uh, but it is nice to have these paved paths if you have a rainy day and you still want to get out and get the pup a bit of a walk. The paths interconnect quite a bit, so you've got a lot of options as you traverse. And you can make it a long walk, even though it's really not that much of a project. Come here, really. Good girl. There is wildlife back here. We have run into deer before. You do need to be aware there is private property. Let's go this way, Bailey. Stay away from those. Lots of large trees and some shrubbery. You really don't want to go off the sides. There are a lot of things that are quite picky and uh, you just don't want to be all spiked up. Good girl. This is the back edge. You can walk all the way down uh, to that house. I really can't tell where the park ends and starts. So we just branch off to this side and follow the more beaten down path. Right, Bailey? Come here, big girl. Good job. So you may notice that I'm not holding the leash. Um, there was nobody else in the parking lot. So even though it says maintain the leash, I've got the leash on and I've got her close. And this way we're killing two birds with one stone. Getting a little bit of practice with our off-leash training, but still having her close enough that if we run into anybody, I can catch her real quick and get it back the way they say on the park side. The 
this whole back edge of the forest has houses. You can hear some construction going on back there. Getting a little bit of sunshine finally today, which makes it look really cool through the trees. This path, unlike the one at Van Buren, is quite well uh, flattened. Uh, I can walk around and keep my eyes on the puppy or the phone and uh, not have to worry so much about tripping. There are sticks and stuff, but nothing like the crazy stumps as we go through the open space out at Van Buren Dunes. couple of options here you can go towards the middle which gets to that path that I showed that cut across that Bailey sometimes chooses we're gonna take the outside path which gets us to that open space just a little bit quicker on this side of the park you can see there are houses as well What do you see, big girl? And there is the large open space with the playground equipment and somebody actually there playing so we will keep Bailey tied up sometimes I'm able to throw things to her here and uh, this is a great area for uh, playing fetch and this is Bailey saying she wants to meet new people I don't know what is up with that low crawl thing but uh, that's her gig since she's just a puppy, we're going to let them have their space, no matter how much Bailey wants to go make friends. <laughs> Come on, big girl. Not going to happen today. Sorry. You are so silly. So silly. So when you finish up your walk, if you didn't get enough distance here, you can go out to the road and there is a nice sidewalk that goes all the way each direction as well. Uh, we have done that a couple times if we felt like we needed some more time. Alrighty friends, thanks for watching episode 2 of Dog Days with Bailey and I. 
If you like the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from Bailey and I. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.